Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to achieve this office serin makeup look. So whether you are in a zoom meeting or a boardroom, this look will conquer all. So let's start with a bare face. First I am going to moisturize my face with a moisturizer. This is Pons Lightweight and I love this moisturizer. It is so lightweight on my oily skin and gives me a full moisturized look. Gently massage your face in the upward direction. Now moving forward to the foundation, I'm going to apply it generously on all over my face. So I know this foundation looks a bit whiter, but wait for a minute and it will oxidize completely to your skin tone. Always buy a foundation with one shade lighter than your skin tone. This is due to the foundation being oxidized when it comes into contact with the air. So moving on to blending, I love this kabuki brush. This gives me an airbrush look. So usually I use stick foundation in summer because for oily skin this is the best alternative to liquid foundations because liquid foundation tends to melt away in summer. So moving on to the bronzer, I'm going to bronze my ghostly face. So there's a trick to applying a bronzer. I always go for making a three on my face. This trick works for all. I learned this trick from TikTok and it's the best trick ever till now. So the bronzer lines are harsh. I'm going to blend it with a brush afterwards. So I will also bronze up my nose because definitely I have lost all the dimension because of the foundation. So I'm going to add on my dimensions. I'm going to give myself a facelift. After that, I'm going to blend those harsh lines of bronzer so it looks subtle. Blending is the key to a flawless makeup, so make sure you blend your harsh lines perfectly. Now I'm going to powder my face with this mineral powder. Gently, not packing on the brush with the powder, I'm going to gently powder my face. Because when you pack on your powder, it gives you a cakey look. So we are going for our dewy matte look. So after this, I'm going to start with my eye makeup. But before starting with the eye makeup, I'm going to put a layer of powder under my eyes to catch the fallouts of my dark eyeshadows. This will stop my eyeshadows from ruining my base, which I have already made before starting the eye makeup. So don't worry, we will blend this out at the end of the eye makeup. Then I'm going to make my eyebrows. First, I will brush them down and then fill them up. This gives you a natural finish and shows you the natural lining of your eyebrows. It depends on you and your face type which type of eyebrows you want to go for. Mostly siren eye makeup look have thin or lightly brushed eyebrows. You can see I have brushed them upwards. This gives a natural feathered look. Now doing the same with the other eyebrow I'm going to fill them up and then brush them out. Now moving on to the base eye color, I'm going to mix these brown colors and lightly dust them on my eyelid. Keep a light hand on your eyelids because we don't want to overpower with the browns. As I told you before, blending is the key to a flawless makeup. After blending, we are going to move forward to the main eye look. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner. Then gently, I'm going to trace out the smoky eyeliner. For this, you can follow your natural eye line. And don't worry about it being messy. You can go messy, we will blend it out afterwards. 
so basically you're going to line your waterline as well now doing the same to the left eye make sure you make a light flick at the end of the eye because then we're going to blend this all out and it will look less harsher so with a fluffy brush which has no pigment on it you're going to smudge out your eyeliner so it leaves no harsh lines always be gentle around your eyes do the same to the other eye Now that I have smudged all the harsh lines, now I will take a black eyeshadow and set this eyeliner look. As always, take the eyeshadow look light handedly. If you go on with dark black eyeshadows, full pigmented, it will look very harsh. Now taking an eyeliner pen, I am going to accentuate my inner corners. This eyeliner look is like a cat eyeliner look but downwards. So make a sharp inner corner and fill it up. You would want your lower eyelid to look flawlessly blended, blackened. After that you will only tight line your lash line. Now taking a brown eyeshadow, a light brown eyeshadow, you will blend out the edges of that black eyeshadow. This will soften it up. Now I will curl my lashes. Lightly I will also apply mascara because we are going to apply falsies. So we won't be needing lots of mascara, we will just lightly coat our lashes. So the type of falsies you will need, it should be a flicked at the end and smaller at the inner corner. This will give you a cat eye look. So apply a thin coat of lash glue and also when it is drying, make sure you round it up and dry it up. Make sure it is tacky, not overall dry. Then place the mirror underneath your cheekbones and then apply the eyelashes. Trust me when I say, your eyelashes will fall onto your eyes on its own. You'll just need to place them on and gently tab so that it sticks with your skin. Likewise, I will do the same to the other eye. So now I will fill out the gaps so it looks even. So to move that tons of powder underneath our eyes, we are going to brush them lightly with the powder. I always suggest to not go straight with your brush. Always add on some powder and then brush out the fallouts. You can see a airbrush look around my eyes. Now we will move on to the blush. For this look, we will opt for a darker blush and apply on the highest points of our cheekbones. Avoid apple of your cheeks. We will go on to the cheekbones so it will give you a lifted look. So now moving on to highlighter. This is my favorite part. We will go for a golden highlighter. So apply your highlighter on your cheekbones and then your tip of the nose.
so this is my favorite part of this look we are going for a pouted lip look this office siren look is all about the lips and the eyes so for this look you will overline your lips in the middle and then only follow your natural lip lines around the lips Lightly fill your lips around the corner, just slightly, and then let the lip gloss do the rest of the work. So this is the magic of this all office look. You will lightly apply a translucent with a hint of sparkle lip gloss on your lips. And with the wand, you will gently blend the lip corners. So this will finish up your serin office look so this is all i hope you love this look if you want more looks which are trendy keep watching this channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much and goodbye